Ventura, California. I escaped the heat wave in Los Angeles today over at 90 degrees and here it is currently 72 degrees and sunny aka perfect. While I love a heat wave, the beach traffic in LA is horrible so I am really happy to be in this city I have never been to before and explore the best things to do here. So far I'm already impressed like look at this beautiful pier that we're gonna start the day at. Ventura, California. Let's do it. Ooh, we got some beach house tacos right at the pier. I'm getting hungry. Okay, the Ventura Pier is the perfect place to start my day here. Obviously, I mean, who doesn't love a Southern California pier? And this one, it's really cool and really unique. It's over 1,600 feet long and one of the oldest wooden piers here in California. I feel honored to be walking on it. And it is such a beautiful day. The ocean is this greenish blue color. I don't know, is it just my sunglasses? No, it's a really awesome color. The sun always puts me in a good mood. Traveling to new places, these views are incredible. For real though, I feel like I'm at the Caribbean today. It's so beautiful. And we have the Channel Islands in the background, which makes for a really nice day trip, although I've never done it. I've just heard about it. I'm not gonna do that today because it's about an hour boat ride, but definitely on my travel list here in California. This reminds me a little bit of the Pismo Beach Pier when I went there a few months ago. Definitely a more laid back atmosphere. I mean, it's no Santa Monica Pier. So after walking over 1,600 feet on this pier, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go try these pier tacos and I will report back. Okay, I waited about 40 minutes for those tacos, but they were well worth the wait. I love the crispy potato one. Everything tastes better at the beach. So there is a really nice bike path along the pier and the coast over here. And I'm so annoyed because I forgot my skateboard today, but that's okay. There is a bike rental station right outside the pier. So I'm gonna rent one and go for a little cruise along the coast. Okay, so I rented an electric bike from Will Fun Rentals for $20 an hour. I've actually never ridden an electric bike before. Very used to my electric skateboard. So this will be a new adventure for me. Let's do it. Here too. Whoa! It like rides on its own. <laughs> Pedaling gives it all the power. I'm in gear two. I don't know how fast this thing goes, but I'll be safe for now. The bike path in Ventura, also called the Omer Reigns Trail, is named after the California State Senator Omer Reigns, who served the Ventura County area from 1947 to 1983. Passing along the coast of San Buenaventura Beach, this bike path can even take you all the way to Ojai, California, a 17 mile trek from the pier via the Ventura River Trail. Also, Ojai was one of the coolest places I've ever been to in California. I gotta get back there soon. I'm now at San Buenaventura State Beach. San Buenaventura is actually the original name of this city before it became Ventura. I don't really know the reason why, but I did see that somewhere online. Volleyball courts at that beach, big waves. I'm gonna keep moving. Okay, I am riding over to the Marine Harbor right now, passing by all of these beautiful beach houses, the blue skies, I'll say it again, but the vibes are really good today. I'm loving life today. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean or Ventura? 
You tell me. Marina Park is a really nice green area here. Got a beachfront playground, perfect for the families. If you don't want to get sandy, you can lay out or you can go right on the beach. Okay, what is really cool about this place also is to my right, we have the ocean, and then to my left, we have the harbor. And then straight ahead, we got rocks that you can walk all the way down towards. Hello, it's not bike friendly, so I think I'm gonna skip out on that one. I should learn to sail. I think I'd be into that. And damn, look at these nice views. Where I just came from, I can see the pier in the long distance. So beautiful. Love this place. Who knew Ventura was one of the prettiest places in California? I swear. Oh shoot, my hour is almost up. I gotta return this bike. Going in gear four. Okay, I am on a very unique hike here in Ventura, the Ventura Botanical Gardens. Very popular destination. It's $7 to get in, open from nine to five. I only got an hour here, actually. The day is just flying. I've been to a few botanical gardens so far in my lifetime, the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens and the Huntington Gardens in Pasadena. And what I really like about this one is that it feels more like a quintessential California hike. We're going up past all of these cool flowers and species. I am a palm tree buff, so we got a Chilean wine palm right here, which is a rare species. <sighs> Love palm trees. And the Ventura Botanical Gardens in particular are dedicated to preserving the rare plants of the Mediterranean climate region of Chile. Wow, got a beautiful view of the coast and the Ventura Pier. This is a perfect place to put some botanical gardens if you ask me. One of the coolest places I've been to in California. I say that in every video. Sit here all day and pull up a book. So peaceful. Where am I going? I'll try out the Summit Plateau, I guess. I only got a half hour. Yeah, if you're planning on coming to Ventura, this place is a must. Love nature. Love it. Oh, and I found a lizard. I love when I find lizards on hike. I take it as a sign of good luck. This guy is really cute. Look at him. As long as I don't bump into a rattlesnake, am I right? Bumped into another one over here. Hey, cutie. <laughs> we got a tori pine right over here. Look at this. I'm learning all about California wildlife. Tory Pines, just like the golf course in San Diego. I guess that's what it's named after. This might be my favorite part so far, the Finbos Garden, with beautiful flowers that occur in the southwestern Cape at the southern tip of Africa. The amount of free public parking in this city is making me want to move here. <laughs> free parking is the California dream, I will tell you that. Okay, so I'm now walking in downtown Ventura, which is really cool because they closed off all of Main Street to pedestrians only since the pandemic started. And I think they might keep it that way. I love it. It gives it a nice unique flavor here in downtown, a place where there's no cars. It feels like an everyday farmer's market. Downtown Ventura at Main Street is easily one of the best parts about Ventura. It has unique boutiques, antique shops, bookshops, restaurants, and bars. I made a stop into a few souvenir shops, which unsurprisingly all contain plenty of California souvenirs because nobody has more pride for the Golden State than Californians themselves. I mean, a state-shaped cutting board? 
for dinner, I got some takeout at Rice by Mama, which was honestly some of the best pad thai I've ever had. It beats my neighborhood LA Thai place by a mile. Okay, and I am here for sunset at the beautiful Sarah Cross Park, which is home to the Cross, a California historic landmark. There's actually a wedding going on at the Cross, so I can't go down and look at it. Nice place to get married, but did you have to do it today? So instead of sitting at Sarah Cross Park, I'm taking a little hike up the hill right across from it. And no one else is here. So I got some nice peace and quiet. Oh, what a beautiful day in Ventura. It is getting chilly though. Okay, wow. Got the whole city. I can see all of the places I visited today from this spot. What a great way to close out the day. We got the Ventura Pier and then Marina Park, downtown Ventura, the Botanical Gardens right next to me. And now here at Sarah Cross Park. Okay, so Ventura was a place that was not even on my list. I kind of came here out of spontaneity, but I'm so glad I did because this city has so many activities and so much beauty to offer that I had quite a day and I'll never forget it. And now in one of the most beautiful sunset spots in California, I mean, what is better? Ventura, you killed it. If I can think of any song to describe this moment right now, it would be Free Fallen by Tom Petty. And not just because he mentions Ventura Boulevard in the song. And I just got my own little drone gig. A nice family wanted me to take a drone shot of them against this beautiful backdrop. Nice to meet you guys. I should do this professionally. And we got a full moon tonight. Oh, just beautiful. To reiterate, Ventura is such an underrated gem here in Southern California, and being so close to Los Angeles, I'm surprised I hadn't made my way here yet. But I'm so glad I did. If you like this video, hit that like button so I know to make more videos like this and subscribe for more California road trips. I'll see you next time.